Today, we are here to talk about subtitling. Probably not the most exciting thing in game development, but subtitles are one of those really important things that you probably won't really notice until it's not there when you want it. And I drew the short straw, so I have to talk about it. We've got a game which is based in the UK with a whole bunch of very thick accents. To be quite frank, half the team uses subtitles right now during development to understand what the hell is going on. But you'd be surprised how much work it takes to get subtitles to work well. So for example, in We Happy Few, there might be 15 people around you giving you some sort of information at any one time. One of the worst offenders we had was Crazy Lee. He would just continually say, I'm late for a very important date. In our old system, that subtitle would repeat over and over again, meaning that you would not see the content that you actually wanted to read. So we put a bunch of work into a new system, which instead of having one subtitle at a time, sort of rolls through subtitles sequentially and allows you to customize it. You can make them bigger or smaller, you can put a background behind them, or use an outline. And we have slightly different colors based on who's speaking. The good news about a cool subtitling system is that it also makes for a great localization system. We will be supporting a whole bunch of other languages on 1.0 once we've got the bulk of the game content done. And we are also thinking about maybe having some sort of unofficial community translation and localization support as well. We're working on that, so I can't promise it right now, but hopefully it's something that we'll be able to do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'd like subtitles. Subtitles are my friend. Now, en français, on a grand système de sous-titres. C'est beau ça, okay? Fuck, I have the whispering.